<laughs> it's been a while since Chris did it. It's, it's been oh, two months and I can't press no, buttons no, as well. No, it hasn't been two months. It's been longer than that, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's yeah. since yeah. before Christmas. <laughs> since way before Christmas, actually. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. You were in prison for a while. Oh, it's what been did a you gobble. do to Benicio? Been gobbling everything. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you, you say gobbling, your lunches <laughs> quick. you learn to eat your lunches quick, and you you, you make do with tater tots. And oh, carrots. I wasn't thinking about lunches. I uh, know. Oh right. <laughs> well, I was. I guess I still maintain my innocence after a, uh, a stint in the juveniles. In the juveniles, some other what were you of... doing in the juveniles? You're 24. <laughs> I told you, goblin, <laughs> up food. What, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus, that's horrible. Uh, uh, I, 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 get, uh, I think Tom oh, was thinking of some kind of different oral. Yeah, oh, that's nasty. <laughs> I think you were uh. gobbling in a juvenile detention centre, and you're 24. What do you think yeah, I was thinking? But... Well, I was—I'm a very hungry lad, and I like to eat food. <laughs> yeah, but juvenile. Juvenile. Well, I'm. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm terrible. Yeah. Do you not know what a juvenile <laughs> is? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, do. I, do. I do. have. They do have to uh, account for my uh, immatureness. So uh, my immaturity. See, see, I've got the mind of a bloody six-year-old. <laughs> immatureness. My immatureness. <laughs> my wisdomous. Very wisdomous. Yeah. So you were gobbling. Juveniles. He was gobbling at eateries, Matt. He was gobbling at eateries. Gobbling eateries, wasn't I? I was gobbling carrots and tater tots and angel delight. Is tater enough. tot a pop tart? No, no. It's um. You remember that? You remember in preschool or something? You'd have like those little round coins. That, like, Ma- Chris, why do you talk American? I don't. I've never understood this. What? Preschool tater tots ATM. I, I, I watch a lot of American. So, so do I. It, uh, and I have American family. Over. Well, I don't know, man. It, it just... I, I suppose it just sounds cooler. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because it no one knows what you're talking about. What are you doing? What oh, are you sorry, doing, I dropped my pants. So <laughs> pick them up. You mean your trousers, Christopher? You dropped Whoops. your trousers. I've dropped my... I'm just going to eat some uh, chips right now. Salt and vinegar flavoured chips. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, are you having jelly on your toast? I'm having jelly on my toast. Hey, peanut butter and jelly. It's jam. Why do they call it jelly? I don't understand. <laughs> and it doesn't taste good. I've had it. To be fair, I don't really like peanut butter, so I think that made it worse. Oh, uh, peanut butter. Either. I've it's had disgusting. it with jelly. Cool. It's not that great, is it? I don't get why. But to be fair, I, uh, I tried it with, like, English jam. I don't know if they have a different type or something. Or... No, it's basically just jam. I don't get it. It's the same thing. I mean, peanut butter is nice, but... I don't really like the peanut butter. I don't really like jam either. Oh, I see where I see why I didn't like it. Yeah. Okay. So, how are you guys? How have you been? It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, so many people have died since we last spoke. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you know Annie came to visit us from the dead? I don't know if um, we've spoken to you since then, but... She came back? Yeah, from the dead. She, Holy she, shit. she came back as a ghost one episode. She did said you he... killed her. Y- yeah, shit. I, ca- I can't... Damn, man, I've got to stay away. She's going to murder me. <laughs> she, it was quite painful as well. We saw her mutilated body, uh, Christopher. To, what did you oh, do? What shit. did you do? I, I need to go back to juvie, man. <laughs> shit. I can't... I can't. You said go back to juvie. I'm going to go back to juvie. I can't... Uh, that's protecting me from this, but out here in the open, I'm a vulnerable and fleshy... And she's a ghost. She could walk through walls to kill you. Not in juvie. She's too old for it, so... <laughs> and you're not. She's a year younger than you. No, so like I told you, I've got the brain of a, of a six-year-old, so, like, they allow it. You know what is actually really weird? People that do have the brains of a six-year-old, they still have to go to adult prisons. Uh, yeah, I know. It's fucked up, right? Yeah. Because... <laughs> they... Like, shouldn't they be in a prison all to themselves? I think that would allow for... Uh... Have you ever seen One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Yeah. Wouldn't you think some people would try to fake it or something, or...? Oh, yeah, they do that anyway. That's true. Mental asylums and stuff like that. But then again, would you rather be in a mental asylum? Yeah, because the patients get drugged up to be, yeah. You want to be... So, so Tarbin, you want them to build a prison just for one person who <laughs> acts like a six-year-old or something no, like not that? No, there's more than one person, Matt. There's quite <laughs> a lot. Yeah, but assuming there's just one person at one point, you've got this that prison for one person. Well, why the hell not? It's a bit of a waste they of money. can't go into a, a juvenile prison. Space. They can't go into an adult prison. Like, where are they the, going to go? If you went to the desert and had like little metal boxes called gob boxes buried under the sand, and they would be like uh, out of desert prisons or something, that would save space, and you could have your own private prison in the Sandwich Islands. Maybe in the Sandwich Islands, yeah. if you want. Yeah. Like an arrow. Yeah. 
Maybe, why not? It, it, no, no. In Arrow, Oliver Queen has um, a prison on Lian Yu, which is the island that he was trapped in. And that's uh, pretty cool. That is cool, actually. The only person in there is Deathstroke. Oh, uh, don't, don't tell me. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, I forgot. Well, that's it's your right, own fault. Don't... That was a three-year-old spoiler. That's true, yeah. I like it. <laughs> like, you can't Stroke's get angry because it's ages ago. Deathstroke's cool. Deathstroke the Terminator. He actually really was cool, man. Yeah, I like him in all media. He's just a cool character. Mm, he's really good. Slade now. Wilson. We could send the prisoners to Azkaban. Ah, I smell Segway. Oh, is that the um, the uh, X Men prison in the Lord of the Rings? That's run by Gandalf. Chris, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's something to do with fantasy, isn't it? Uh, as, as, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. No, not, not, not Azerbaijan. That's a place. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I'll, yeah. I will send you to Azerbaijan next week. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, Annie won't be able to find me there <laughs> unless she, she wouldn't this. know where to oh, find shit. it. Yeah, did you well, actually wait? No, Chris, did you actually think Azerbaijan was a fictional place? Oh no, no, <laughs> no! I'm just <laughs> deliberately fucking with you. Because if you did, that would make you worse at geography than me. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at geography. Trust me, I, I'm horrible. Like, I, I, it took me ages to remember where Copenhagen was. Is that in Denmark? No, that's in Germany. It's, it's in no, Denmark, no, it's, it's in Denmark. Denmark. It's in Denmark. Oh, Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. It's the capital. I love it that you were right, and then you just wronged yourself <laughs> instantly. Yeah. <laughs> So, Azkaban, yes, the wonderful prison that everyone likes to go to. Oh, if only. I'd love to go to that prison. Would you? Yeah. They've Wait. got dogs there. They've got dogs there. Well, they did. They have Dementors okay. there. Azkaban, it has dogs. Intro music. <laughs> I did it first. No, oh, but I wanted to <laughs> shout it. <laughs> I think you've shouted it enough. Oh, Wait, should, we should let Chris do it. He hasn't done it in forever. Yeah. What am I doing? Intro music. Intro music! <laughs> Welcome to the Dorks Deduction Podcast, where we talk about stuff. <laughs> I love how I just waited for a gap and just shouted intro music because you guys weren't going to let me do it. <laughs> you guys would have just gone on and on and on until the half an hour mark, and uh, now I realise you're not going to actually do intro music. Fucking hated that nostalgia episode because of that. <laughs> it was great. made it a bitch to fucking edit because I got about twenty minutes in and was like, when are they going to say intro music? Uh, and then I yes. realised you weren't going to, so I had to go back in time and to where <laughs> Matt's mum died and put it there. <laughs> oh, don't, don't bring up happier times. <laughs> but then it's, it's, it's nice that I've just brought up the nostalgia episode because this is sort of nostalgic for us. We're talking about the world of Harry Potter this week. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But we're not going to call it a reboot. We're going to do a Spider-Man Marvel Universe thing, call it a soft reboot, where we just place another character in something else and pretend that we're starting from scratch, but it's the same thing and it's very confusing. You don't understand what's going on. I'm already confused. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Me either, because I don't understand what's happening with Spider-Man and Marvel. I don't know if it's a... It's not a continuation. I don't get it. So it's sort of like that. It's a reboot w- without calling it a reboot. Isn't the new Spider-Man going to be black or something like that? No, that was in the and comic gay. books. And he's gay as well, isn't Yeah. Nice. I didn't see yeah. the big deal about that. I mean, I bought the issue. I mean, it was like, okay, Spider-Man's black now. Well, big what? Someone's saying, does it, does it really matter? Because he spends most of his time under a mask. It doesn't. <laughs> so you can't really tell. And it's not Peter Parker. So yeah, what's the big it. issue? I, I, I just, I love the fact that all these people were getting upset because they thought just because he was gay meant he was going to be swinging around with his cock out or something. <laughs> like, it's, it's still the same... Sp- he's still punching people and being bad guys up. It's just, you know, he has a... He likes boys, that's all. Yeah, I love how people pretend to be progressive, but then the moment something like this happens, like a character change or yeah. something like, like that, no, it, it, no, everyone, everyone shows their homophobia and their racism. Yeah. Everyone went up in arms about Idris Elba when he was that Norse god. People want him to play James Bond as well. People were like, no, you can't because they're predominantly white characters and I don't want him to play James Bond anyway because James Bond is shit it just felt that as Luther is better than any James Bond film yeah he was really good in Luther apart from the Uh, two part special that wasn't very good loved him in Thor as well he He is great in Thor but he doesn't really do much and I don't think he likes doing it I think that was the big complaint between the first and the second one really and then he did something what was the big complaint well that he just stood there in the first one and he was going to do something but he got frozen so in the second one, they had him take down a whole warship, which was cool. Idris Elba could do that. He didn't have to be an Asgardian god. No, 
didn't have to. He could just be Luther standing mm. there. Yeah, I can hear someone to some author, he's too uh, street to play James Bond. Yeah, but maybe that's what James Bond needs, because I can't relate to him. I mean, I know I'm a woman, but I can't relate to him even if I wouldn't. And I get that he's supposed to be an aspirational figure, but I don't like the aspirational figures. Like, if I think someone's going to be a twat from the offset, I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, true. But sometimes I like a twatty character. Yeah, but like, you don't want them to be the hero of the actual thing. Like Archer, or... Uh, if it's a comedy, it's all right. You know? Oh, yeah, no, it's a comedy, it's encouraged. Mm. But you, you can't the, be the hero. <laughs> you look at the Friends cast, they're all funny, but they are all really twats as well, to be honest. They are. Yeah. Like, they took over that coffee house, they took over that seat. <laughs> yeah. But then again, we did do that in uni, though, whenever someone was sitting on our seat, we oh, just yeah, didn't even. We, weren't, we weren't, like, just taking them out or, like, yeah, get weren't. the fuck out. For <laughs> the moment they made a movement, we were you on those guys, chairs. Maybe. <laughs> the unsociable seats. No, but they were sofas, and we just and there wasn't enough for us, so we just pulled loads of chairs around, so we took over basically the whole floor of Weatherspoons. I bet they don't miss us anymore, though. I mean, it's uh, it's been a while, but we used to make a racket. We made more than a racket. Oh, yeah. Everywhere we went, we made a racket. <laughs> but then yeah. it was loud anyway, so you had to shout louder. Well, yeah, true. I mean, it was a, it was a fun place anyway. But anyway, back to the subject. Matter. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. Mm. Barry Trotter. Harry Potter. So, <laughs> how uh, did you guys enjoy the films? Were they your cup of tea? I don't like tea. How I did you, not sir? like the Harry Potter movies. They all... they're, they're my glass of Coke. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I do like a good Coke <laughs> as well. I hated the movies, Chris. Do you not remember when I went to the last one with you? I was crying because I hated it so much. Sure. Oh, I thought it was because of the uh, spoiler. <laughs> Dobby. No, I was just bawling my eyes up because it was the last one. <laughs> Oh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> and I, I was I, just like, that's the end of an era. Like, Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter was the first time I went to the movie. The mm. last Harry Potter, it wasn't the last time I went to the movie, but it probably should have been because I paid for a lot of shit movies since then. Huh. But yeah, it's like an end, it was like an end of an era. It, it mapped my whole childhood and adolescence. I mean, yeah. I didn't do that stuff, yeah, but I felt like as, I did. As soon as Harry went off in, uh, with his, with his, uh, his son, uh, you realised, I'm a woman now. It's time to give this shit up. <laughs> and then I just started crying and was like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm a child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you didn't really watch the movies. I watched, I loved number one, number two, number three was all right. Then number four came along and it got really dark and I was like, it's no longer like magical and mystical anymore with that childhood innocence. It's just, now it's becoming, and it did, like, I, but I didn't appreciate it at that point. It became, for the next four films a continuous dark drama, you know, and it just wasn't the same as The Innocent Years. But then I appreciated it when I saw them all consecutively. They were good. They well, were the really first good. three did have dark bits. Like, people died and almost died oh, in Oh, yeah, years. but it still had that, that innocence. Like, everything because they were innocent. More... The kids in it were innocent. The amount of shit they'd seen up until it. that one, like, yeah. uh, uh, all the I innocence mean, is lost. Dealt with a troll. It was, it was more magical as well. Like, like uh, especially in the first one when you have, like, the chess sets and the... And Fluffy. You never see Fluffy again. No, I'm pretty sure they must have packed him off at some point because they didn't need him anymore. Yeah, I mean, that was a fucking dangerous thing to have in this school anyway. <laughs> the lot amount of shit they kept they in that school. They probably put him down, if, if I'm honest. Yeah, which one? <laughs> you have to put all three heads down <laughs> oh, yeah, at the same time. Da- you have to put all three down. <laughs> Unless you have a yeah. harp or something. They could just avada kedavra it. Avada kedavra. Yeah, that's probably what they did. Pocus pocus! <laughs> 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 now people take a shot. <laughs> anyway, Matt, your experience with the movies? Well, I, the first uh, film, the first Harry Potter film, was the first film I ever saw. So it was kind of yeah, like so a special tell, like experience me. for me. Yeah. I think it was the first chapter book I read as well, but we'll go into the books afterwards. It kind of actually scared me a little bit, though. I, I was at that age when I was, I was quite easily scared when I was younger. That's figure, shocking. When, oh. when the back of his head comes out of uh, Professor Quirrell. Oh, yeah. That, that actually scared me. And when uh, the hooded cloak in the forest, that I didn't like that either. That was Actually, that's still really good effects even to this day, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah, it is. Isn't I think practical? Harry Potter sort of... But I then think... that really badly CGI'd uh, centaur comes in after, and it's like, oh, dear. I didn't think that looked that bad. <laughs> it was in the dark, wasn't it? You couldn't see too much. I don't know. I, I still found it scary at that age. Uh, see, I read the book beforehand, so I knew what to expect. I read the book when it came out, and that was... 
almost 20 years. No, it wouldn't 20 years ago. When it came out, 97, 98 time. Yeah, around about that time. So, yeah, so I read it, was... it around the time it came out. I actually read the third book first. I Why would you do book. that? I, d- I didn't. I tried reading the first book, but I didn't like it. Yeah, that's sort of what I did with like the Northern Lights books. I read the first one, and I wanted to read the second one, but my parents wouldn't buy it for me. So my teacher yeah. lent me the third one, and I'm just like, okay, I read the first one, now I'm reading the third one. What happened in the second one? So I just <laughs> abandoned it, and I've still got the third book here. <laughs> I, I borrowed it about te- a decade ago, more than a decade ago, and I still haven't given it back to them. <laughs> I can't now. I don't think he works at the school. And it's a bit late for me to return the book. The thing about that bit where the unicorn's getting its blood sucked and it's that hooded cloak, that was Voldemort, right? Yeah. So I just think to myself, he was using the back of his head to suck the blood, right? Yeah. So I just think all that time Professor Quirrell's on the front, the other side, just kind of like dangling there under the cloak. That makes so much sense. Yeah, but it's just a bit weird, like... But then again, Voldemort was on the back of the head dangling as well. Yeah, cool, but uh, true, but that, that you, Quirrell was a whole person, you know? Quirrell, maybe uh, you mean, don't... More, maybe Voldemort could change where he was in the face, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, uh, that's, uh, that's creepy. <laughs> maybe, I uh. don't know. Yeah, I find it weird that we didn't really hear much of the unicorns until after that movie, that Burton movie. Well, he ate them all, didn't he? Well, no, there must have <laughs> been other unicorns. A half-life. A cursed life. I wonder what unicorn meat tastes like. Well, I bet it's venison. I did, yeah. I bet it tastes like a horse. Maybe it tastes nice. Yeah. Tesco stuff. That's, that's Uni- the, uh, taste lasagna. of the difference. Yeah. yeah. That's what you want. So, Chris, you never actually read the books, did you? I read the first, third, and uh, and the second, and a bit of the fourth. But after that, I didn't really... Uh, did it get I too scary for you too again? Many. Oh, it got too scary, way too scary. I couldn't... I couldn't... I looked at the fourth book's size, and I, I fainted... But no, I enjoyed them. I, 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 they were really lovely books to read, like, in winter or something, especially. I just love the idea. Because it, it was... It quintessentially had a really Englishness to it. I don't know how to explain it. Like, And I have a love for trains, if that makes sense. So you see oh. the Hogwarts Express and, oh, you know, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's had a quintessential Englishness to it. I forgot about I also, you, you guys and the trains. I also really love, like, the fourth one had an opening, like, off Quidditch match on it. Like, that wasn't a league match it was just bunches of people getting together to have a game just reminds me of like football and stuff like, I'm not a big fan of football but I am a fan of how uh, passionate people can get about it and they had like scarves and all that and it was quite nice it was it was a nice and it you know it's like when you read Tolkien or something and you see how in love with the country side he is and it's just uh, it had a nice feeling to it a nice atmosphere but then like you get into uh, the the the, ne- the next last three and they're just you know, all in the Wizarding World. It made the Wizarding World seem really unattractive after a while. Like, it's not just Diagon Alley now. It's like, oh, you're at the, uh, those, those places where, what, Fudge? Calling is Fudge? The Ministry and all that stuff. And it just sounds like a terrible place, you know. It's all corporate in wizard stuff and, uh, they need some sort of a government. I, I like know, how they but, expanded the world. But up until that point, my, my vision of the hot Wizarding World was like lovely diagon alleys. And, and Hogwarts, and that's And it. Hogwarts, and they were lovely places, you know. Yeah, but Voldemort always existed. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, there's always got to be like a dark side to the magic course, world, because yeah. it's, it's, it's going to get manipulated, isn't it? That's true, but I like, it's, I prefer, for, for, here's a good example. I love good and bad settings. I love uh, the Shire and I love Mordor because they're quintessentially, like, they are what they are. I hate places that are just morally ambiguous, like, uh, stuffy corporate... But Like, in The Hobbit, they have the River Town. Remember that? Yeah. What's wrong and with the River just, Town? everyone there's nasty and... and they're not. And everyone there's just, just got uh, no money and, and shit. And it's it's like, either it, told that the dragon has taken on them. I know, but it's a boring place and it's just too... Oh, but ugh. Luke Evans... Oh, Stephen Fry was all right. He was all right. But it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, yeah. Talking about students or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the Hobbits. <laughs> uh. You wouldn't know, Matthew. <laughs> Those damn Hobbits. The damn Hobbitses. Hobbitses. Anyway, <laughs> Matt, you read the books, though, didn't you? Yeah. All yeah, I did. I read all of them. And the fourth book was actually the first Harry Potter book I owned outright myself. Oh, my God, that's the same with oh, me. Uh, I got yeah, it for my birthday, yeah. like, 15 years ago. Yeah. It felt good to own, but you couldn't read it, so it was a bit tantalising. My my mum surprised me with it at school, when I'd finished school. Oh. I had to and wait so till my birthday. I didn't just get it randomly. 
I got it for my birthday, 2001 or 2002, one of them. I mean, I'd read all the other ones, but I borrowed them from, like, school and stuff. Yeah. Or the library. Remember, yeah. He had to wait an age, though, for the fifth one. It felt like ages. Fifth one came out 2005, didn't it? No. Yeah, 2005. I remember on the day, like, they had a big thing on the news about it and all these people were just waiting outside as well. Yeah. I didn't do that for the fifth one. I let someone else do that for the fifth one and the sixth one. Basically, I let my I brother need... do the queuing. <laughs> And then I took the books when he was done queuing. I, I only did that for the seventh one. My brother, again, I sent my brother at midnight. Well, I didn't send him. He was going to go anyway. My brother, by the way, is five years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he queued up at midnight to get the last Harry Potter, and then he had work the next day, so he just gave it to me when he got in, because he had to go to sleep. I read it. By the time he got home from work the next day, I'd finished it. He asked me how far I'd got, and I said, I'm done. Because it always comes out in July, so you're off school. So you have time to read it. And it was brilliant. Yeah. I read it in eight hours to, the last harry potter book i used to race my sister reading them you made your sister read them my, my sister read them by herself oh she okay it. she loves them just as much as i do good she should so she should but like it's i remember she's old. When it, yeah i remember when it came to harry potter five and like the book was twice the size i'm just like what's happened here and they just stayed that size my harry potter four books like fallen apart my harry potter five books fallen apart as well harry potter six is getting there harry potter seven is fine yeah my fifth one is because that one's just so big it's huge yeah, and it's a hardback one, the one that I've got. It's a hardback, yeah. so it's fallen apart. And because if you think about the amount of people that have read it and how frequent we've read it as well, because there's yeah. me and my two brothers that read the books. So we've all read it multiple times. So just wear and tear anyway. <laughs> I, I, I actually bought a box set of like, paperback ones. I've always ones. wanted to do that. I've won, I've, I, yeah. yeah, maybe I should have got that for myself. It's a really nice box as well. It's like all red and it's got little pictures on and everything like that. And it makes it sound like I'm six. But how, how, how much was it? I want to get it. I've forgotten how much. It was like 30 odd quid when That's I got it. That's not too bad. But I think it, I, so on Amazon, Chris, I think it's out of stock on now. That, right? Yeah, Chris, sure. you're going to get me a discount on that. Yeah, of course. We have a uh, hardback uh, box sets as well. At the stones, but that would have been half. That's going to be heavy to take home, isn't it? Yeah, but you kind of want to make it special as well, don't you? Maybe when uh, me and Lana go to your Harry Potter event, we can pick up that. Have you seen the reeditioned covers? Yeah, they're not as nice, are they? Really? No, well, not I, really. I, I prefer still the nice, original I mean. ones, even to the adult version. I don't because you know they had to come out with adult covers oh, because yeah, adults were reading the one, books as well. Those ones very nice. Yeah, I prefer the old school ones. Yeah, like uh, the ones that were a little bit disproportionate in the hair and stuff because they were like originals and they're really nice to look at. And, you know, they, mm. they made they tried to make the adult ones look a bit like the Lord of the Rings, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're all black and white and boring. I'm sorry. Yeah. What? I so mean, whenever it came to story time in school and our teachers would come out with their copies of the Harry Potter yeah. book, I'm just like, what yeah. is that cover? You don't have that picture of Dumbledore on the back with yeah. his little lighter. What the fuck, teacher? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, teacher? I don't want to see the black and white you? train. Where's your imagination, you stupid? And then she was just like, well, some people just don't want people to know that they're reading Harry Potter. I'm just like, why? And he just you shouted from like, the rooftop. Well, some people are just a bit stupid, aren't they? Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to oh, talk, you I... didn't read past the third one. <laughs> Well, I still had. I, 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 what? I read a bit of the fourth one, but um, but no. <laughs> that, that makes all the difference. That yeah, does. it does actually. <laughs> Thank you. But um, but I just I, people are like, oh, I don't want them to think I'm reading Harry Potter. But you're still reading it, aren't you? I mean, you're still reading Harry Potter, and it on the front it does say Harry Potter. I think they're just going to judge you that you didn't have the balls to have Dumbledore on the back or something. Yeah, you know, have the original balls, cover teacher. Up. Have like, balls. Yeah, seriously. Where the fuck did you get that? This is 1999. How did you get one at that point? Yeah, that you didn't damn have Australian the front? teachers. You stupid. Well, not Australians. I like Australians, <laughs> but teachers in general. You stupid. I, all of them. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if they do the opposite for like Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. They do a children's one up for the. <laughs> yeah, it's got children. like that, that that expression Harry Potter's pulling on the first one. Where he's got his hand up to his his mouth. He's like, ooh, yeah. but it's a woman doing that with like S and M and shit. Oh, I realised I have a sex magic book. wands and stuff yeah. like that. And Christian Grey's just on the back with his lighter, but instead of the lighter, <laughs> he's got like a whip and he's pulling that same smirk. Yeah, so I realised I have a sexy book. A sexy book. Yeah, erotica. Oh, I didn't know is. this. I didn't know this. Because, I, you, okay, Chris, you don't know. I finished my DVD spreadsheet, so I decided to start a book one. 
so I was entering stuff, and because I haven't read most of the books, I have to look up what genre they are. And I was looking at one of them, and then I saw erotica, and I was like, I've got erotic fiction in my my nice. Kindle. What's it called? Something I probably should have figured it out. It's called Sweet Sweet Filthy Boy. Well, how do you? <laughs> well, how do you know? How do you not know that? Uh, was, yeah. I don't know. I think it was one of those ninety nine p deals. So I just got went. Ah, oh, might as well. Oh, must be sci fi because <laughs> but, but there is no yeah. sweet lovely boys. I don't want to put erotic on the spreadsheet, so I just put damn romance. I once dated a girl who was reading a, an erotic novel, and the main guy was called Dick Diver. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's the best name ever. I, I, sh- I probably should start reading Sweet Filthy Boy. Sweet fi- Have you not started it yet? <laughs> no, I thought... Oh, no, dude, you should uh, do like a live reading. It's made me wonder why the fuck I have so many books and I don't actually read most of them. Like, read a page of it, just random, and see if I've, it's I've just I've only like uploaded half of the Kindle on there, and that's already at, like, 30 books. He undid his big throbbing wand, and it was <laughs> full of magic. I'm so tired of men, he said, said God. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to wash them all away. And he why took why does his God hand. have that accent? That <laughs> camp accent. <laughs> why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he, Matt? Well, yeah, why it, why like, does God sound like Julian Clary? He's always talking to the men, you know. Um, you know, he gets a bit annoyed with them, so he throws a bit of a fit. He says, I want them all washed away, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> God likes it when you get down on his knee, on his yeah. knees for him. <laughs> anyway, uh, Chris, have you been to uh, Harry Potter World? No, I haven't. I really want to go. You should have gone. We went. Oh, Matt, no. we have to go back again if they're letting oh, people shit. in diagonally. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys go again, let me know and I'll come with you. It's so out of the way, though. It's like in a ridiculously isolated area. Whereabouts? Watford. 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 <laughs> fucking Watford. <laughs> <laughs> fucking what? We realised um, it was the most boringest place in, like, well, London. Well, yeah, not because now. We, it's not in London, <laughs> because, like, we went there yeah. early, because we were just like, we don't want to be late, we'll go get something to eat. We got there really early, and there was nowhere to go. Yeah. You know, that reminds yeah. me of Barry from Watford. Do you remember him? Isn't his lovely minty biscuit? Oh, oh yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 you have to listen to it. It's on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant, man. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Barry from Watford. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, I, I didn't know it was so it, close. I thought it would be a bit further, like Legoland or something like no, that. No, it's Legoland isn't far. I got, I well, got wet at Legoland. It's further. Yeah, I got a bit wet. Yeah. Well, anyway, Harry Potter World was Fun. brilliant. Like, but don't don't buy the um, uh, butter beer. Butter beer. I've heard it's everyone hot. says the butter beer is shit. It's I want, so and it just bad. Makes we you all buy bought it. a glass. Why did we all buy a glass? We could have just bought the one and not waste our money. I bet yeah. I like it. I bet I like it. It's so... Oh, God. It's, it just gives you a headache the moment you take a sip. Yeah, I want to try it now. <laughs> I put, I put, I put You're into self-abuse. Al- I put actual alcohol in it as well. Yeah. Uh, when we went, they didn't let people in the shops in Diagon Alley, but they've started to now, so I, I want to go back purely for that. that? Like, that's like, why would they not let you in the shop? That's bullshit. No, you walk oh. down, they don't let you in the shops. Then again, like, what are they going to sell? Like, packets of Revels and stuff like that. They let like, us in Ollivander's. But that yeah. was just to see all like the wands of the yeah. actors and crew and stuff involved. That was actually pretty brilliant. Can you actually buy anything? Yeah, they've got a gift shop. Uh, it's just that like you get to go in there and then imagine because they do have to sell stuff, but it has to be real stuff. So imagine like oh, they might have a plastic hand, and then they might have like whoopee cushions as well or something like that. Obviously, they have to sell stuff, but they're not actually going to have cool stuff, are they? Like actual books or... Chris, I wouldn't know because they didn't let us in the fucking shops when we went. Well, now you've got a reason to go again. Yeah, I know. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. But I got my wand from there, the Noble Wand. Yeah. It right. introduced me to what the Noble Wand collection was. Oh, I got, yeah. I got the older wand. Nice. Matt, I which got, one did you got? I got um, Neville Longbottoms. Yeah, you got Longbottoms. Yeah, because Long... some bitch said I, I look like Neville Longbottom on one of my <laughs> well, Hogwarts photos. You know, and you know what? That's actually that's a really... compliment. Com- yeah. yeah, it's a compliment now. Like, he saved the day in the end. You know, he was the chosen one. And and Matt Lewis is fucking sexy now. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah. That, that that actually, I've seen that photo of him in his underpants. Yeah, I know yeah, we've spoken about that in previous I'm gonna, episodes. I'm going re- to recreate that. He's a fucking <laughs> dish right now. He is he a is. dish. He's a tasty yeah. dish. I mean, uh, speak of, like, evolving into a, a better Pokemon, like, he just... I don't know what happened, man. He just grew out. He fit out nicely, you know? I always thought my heart would be with Tom Felsen. Who's Tom Felsen? The Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. Because yeah. I had a crush on... No, actually, I had a cr- When the f- movies first came out, not now, because I'm an adult now and they're 11. <laughs> when the movies first came out, I had a crush on Draco Malfoy and Oliver Wood. Really? Oh, no, really? Yeah. Oh, Malfoy? Though. Yeah. When he was, he was a slime ball, though. I know, but I really liked uh, him. 
But he I actually seems like a really nice guy in real he life. He does. Tom Felton seems like a really nice guy. Yeah. I mean, he, Lana, Lana met him the second time there. she went to Harry Potter World, and I wanted to punch her in the fucking face. Because she called me <laughs> hyperventilating after it happened. I was like, why are you calling me afterwards? <laughs> like, uh, what, uh, what am I supposed to do after you've met him? Nothing? You bitch, fuck off. <laughs> I was not happy. But he was oh. at Harry Potter World and it was quite nice. Apparently he was signing stuff for all the kids and taking pictures yeah. of them. It's quite he, sweet. He was like a nice Joffrey, you know? I mean, the, Gleason. The guy plays, that plays Joffrey, he seems quite nice as well. He's a really nice guy. He's given up acting, though. Yeah, he went to, he's going to school like he should do. Yeah. <laughs> I feel sorry for him because he got a lot of... He actually, it's like Trevor and EastEnders. Like, apparently the actors actually get a bit of hate for who they are. Because yeah, they're so because, good at what they do. Yeah. So people think he's a twat, so no wonder yeah. he gave up acting. Oh, he's he's going to be so typecast anyway. Uh, how stupid are these people that actually like get them in real life and go, I can't believe you. And you're like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slice of life docudrama and they're just filming me while I was king or something. Or... Yeah, while these dragons are training to yeah. overthrow my throne. <laughs> and they'd probably be the kind of people that go, no, I know that bit was fake. <laughs> they Not just think stupid. some people can't act, so they're just playing themselves, I guess. Yeah, Which is true in some but cases. But he seems shows... like a really nice guy. Yeah, he does, and he did a, a really good like talk at this one university. But um, enough of that. He's just like my uh, my comparison to Draco Malfoy. Mm. Um, but yeah, Draco Malfoy. He's he's done really well. They've all done really well for themselves. They have done. You know? And Rupert Grint's kind of there. Apart from Bonnie Wright. Ginny. Yeah, Bonnie Wright. I don't think I've seen her in anything. Yeah, but she doesn't have to do anything to still be successful. You know? I, I actually mean, went to college with her. He did not like her. Who, who did he? Yeah, he was not college, university. The university he went to before Kingston. Oh shit! You serious? Yeah. He and, did, uh, he did not bit... like her. Why? He's, I think she was a bit she's stuck ginger, up. isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's <it's> ginger. <laughs> it's not. Why do you always go for the ginger? <laughs> it's because she was stuck up, not ginger. <laughs> And Emma Watson, I'm proud of her. She she might not be, not because of the acting, but because of the human rights thing. Yeah, she's quite a feminist now, man. Yeah, so she should be. Yeah, and she's like, uh, she's like... I, I like the He For She campaign. Follow, yeah, yeah, she's following in the uh, the footsteps of Angelina Jolie. Like, she might be a member of UN human rights thing. Yeah, she is, isn't she? That's, I thought she good. was. I'm really glad she turned out the way she did. Yeah, you know? but they were all smart kids. They were. I they think were. I've spoken to Matt about this. I'm not sure if it was during an episode or not, but someone was doing the Nerdist podcast. I think it was Daniel Radcliffe, and mm. he was um, talking to Chris Hardwick, and Hardwick said that he was speaking to Christopher Columbus, uh, Columbus who did the first movies, Yeah. and how he, the director was saying that when they were auditioning the kids, they were auditioning the parents as well, which makes um, so much sense. Yeah. Why can't more movies do that? Instead of going for the kids that have the awful stage parents. True. And, oh, yeah. And it we... works out because all those kids have actually... Apart from Daniel Radcliffe has had his problems, but in general, all those kids have turned out all right. Yeah, that's true. And they seem to be quite, you know, they've really gone on to something new. Yeah, they've got still got I mean, careers, and they all seem quite intelligent, and they all seem to not be drinking and drugging and losing their money. They seem to have saved it all. Although Rupert Grint did Thunderpants, which was a bit of a mistake. He did that when he was <laughs> a child. <laughs> it was a funny, like, it was interesting. It was a weird film, man. It was about a kid He did who... that when he was a child. Yeah, but in the middle of the stint, right? So we no, I think it was, it was like wrong. at the beginning of the stint. Because yeah, yeah, Rupert still, Grint, still... He, had, he had done stuff leading up to that, hadn't he? He'd done Harry Potter first, and then he went on to Thunderpants. And it doesn't matter what he did before that, because that's what we knew him as, Ron Weasley. And it was about a kid who couldn't stop farting. And it was just... I don't know what I was expecting when I rented it, but... It can was, we, um, yeah. I've never watched it. You oh, you're missing to. out. <laughs> no, can we talk about Daniel Radcliffe Trust for a minute? you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about Daniel Radcliffe for a minute? He's done very yeah. well. Oh, yeah. He, he is such not... a good actor now. I was watching Horns a few months... A couple of months oh, ago. Horns, it's such Jesus a brilliant Christ. movie, and he's no, so good not. in it. Oh, I hate Horns. Really? Is, is, is he horny in it? No, oh, yeah, it's is. like he grows horns overnight and no one can lie to him and he's yeah, trying to it's... find out how his girlfriend died. I loved it. It's like Twilight for the Harry Potter guys. How? It's, it's, it, it's, it's trying so hard to have this character who's brooding. There's so much that doesn't get addressed and I, oh, I just, I don't know. I just really I thought it was a very film. funny movie. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We have differing uh, opinions yeah. on this. All, all to our own, you know. I thought it was funny. I liked him in The Woman in Black. 
Yeah. I still That's haven't good. watched it, and I don't know why. It's a good... F- I don't watch the second one. Oh, yeah, I know that, I know that. Oh, it's horrible. I saw it in pre-production. Really? I, I watched um, Victor cinema. Frankenstein. You oh, got yeah, me, you got me in. Victor. You got me into Victor yeah, Frankenstein did, before I? it came out. And it was actually all right when I watched it. And then it came out and everyone hated it, so I'm wondering what they changed. Do you, do you think, like, important stuff got changed around or they took out a good joke or something? I was it a funny know. film? No, it wasn't funny. It wasn't... There were some funny moments, but it wasn't funny. Uh, was it um, Cumberbatch? What? Who was the... Was it Martin Freeman or Cumberbatch? Or who was the... James the, McAvoy, the, you idiot. James You're McAvoy, the one that yeah. fucking advertising the movie. Oh, I don't... Look, there's so many of these kind of vintage films coming but out I, now. But like then again, I do Pride love James McAvoy, so maybe that's it. But Pride and Prejudice thought, and Zombies is the next one. No, but I thought the movie was actually okay. It was at best okay. They were, it did need work, but I didn't think it was terrible. But then it came yeah. out and everyone thinks it's terrible. Well, I thought the same thing about Hansel and Gretel when that came out. I didn't mind it, but a lot of people actually really loathe it. Uh, I think it's just... I, I think people get touchy because these are existing stories. True. And they don't like people twist. taking it and making it their own. Well, definitely has them grow because they really changed it. Um, yeah, but then they had Jeremy um, Renner and Jeremy Renner. Gemma Arterton. Oh, there. Gemma Arterton. And they were playing so siblings, lovely. right? Yeah. They were handsome and great. Of course, they're like, siblings. I liked it that they weren't in some sort of love interest, that it was like they're a brother and sister and she's badass. Mm. It was just a nice mix-up, you know? I have trouble liking Gemma Arterton. I don't know why. I like her. Um, I, I, I don't... I can't I remember no liking her, her in a movie. I liked Byzantium. Yeah, but that, that was, was more for Shah... I don't even know how to say her name. The Irish girl from his home in... Shirse, Saoirse, Ronan, something like that. The Irish one. I'm just going to go ahead and say correct. <laughs> Saoirse, I think that's how you pronounce it, or something like that. It's spelled S-O-I-R and some other letters. <laughs> oh, do you want to know something cool? What? Someone I work with is friends with that uh, that black kid in Harry Potter. You know the one that goes... Dean Thomas. Neville's got a remember all. Dean Thomas. Is it Dean Thomas? Or is it Lee Jordan, one of them? Oh, they're both black. Damn. <laughs> I, I think I think it was probably Dean Thomas. Let's not get racist here. <laughs> I, I think it was probably Dean Thomas, because Dean Thomas, the one that's Harry and Ron's age, and then Lee Jordan is Freda and George's age. So I think it'll probably yeah. be more likely to be Dean Thomas. Mm. I'm thinking, so I, I've never put too much so much thought into any other episode than that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but Lee Jordan was friends with Fred and George, so he'd probably be sitting with them. Dean Thomas was friends with Ron and Harry and Hermione. Yeah, Dean Thomas then. That's probably yeah. the one. Yeah. I think Dean Thomas more mixed race than black, but okay. Mixed race, yeah. Yeah. But I remember he. I remember it was in the... Uh, was it, yeah, it was the first one, because that's when Neville had the remember Yeah. Um, anyway, but he can't look, remember what he Neville's forgot. Neville's got a remember Yeah, and it's, I, can't I can't remember, remember, remember what, what I forgot. What I forgot. <laughs> Hello, Harry. <laughs> Pocus, pocus. <laughs> Shot. I was going to say something, but now I've completely spaced. Even the minor actors have had careers, because the guy that plays Dean Thomas, he's been in stuff. Yeah, yeah, He was yeah, in that Sherlock episode a couple of years ago. And that's how you start out well, you know, if you do the little episodes and then you move on to bigger stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, Matt Lewis, he's now doing um, Ripper Street, which is back with a vengeance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And there's a there's a new show called Lucky Man that I want to see as well with uh, what's the name Nesbit. I'm going off track there. But oh sorry, yeah. yeah, is that the what, Stan Lee one? Yeah. Yeah, I want to watch that too. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, back to Harry and his pottering. Yeah. Are you guys actually, are you guys going to be watching the next Harry Potter, swath of Harry Potter movies? I think it's probably going to be quite. A maybe, few. maybe. Because this episode like... was supposed to be for that next movie, but we moved it up because of Alan Rickman. Sounds... Sounds like a novel by Alan Titchmarsh, doesn't it? Harry Potter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's Harry going to be potting? Have you ever, like, you know Alan Titchmarsh has done a whole series of gra- um, erotic novels as well, but they're all called stuff like Mr. Tanter or something but like Alan that. Alan Titchmarsh broached these. I would not buy them. And they're like all about gardeners and they're all I kid you not that shit you know they're all they're bloody all of them are about these gardeners that are working for a woman and they're all like <laughs> oh he's, he's just working on the potting you know but he's got a nice set of handsome oh. pegs or something is like this that, like you know? biographical for him because that's disgusting to I think hope so. titch I, march. Hope it, I hope it is you know oh, I can't believe <laughs> titch march man him and, him and that lovely dimmock Oh, I used to love Gardener's World and yeah, Ground Force. Yeah, same here, Ground Force. Ooh, I like Charlie Ground Dimmock. Force. Yeah. Because, Charlie like, in Dimmock. a day, it's all completely different. Yeah. And Dimmock never wore a bra once. Is that the blonde one? That's the blonde Ginger. one. Okay. Isn't it? <laughs> Ginger, isn't yeah. it? Strawberry blonde. I don't Strawberry know, blonde. it was years ago. Oh, if you, if you didn't need uh, 
constant reassurance that our podcast is quintessentially English. There you go. <laughs> Grand force. Let's talk about <laughs> deal or no deal next. <laughs> oh, yes, please. No Ledmans <laughs> up my arse. It's, it is like the game show that idiots can go on. Because <laughs> yeah. all you have to know is Ooh, what? From time, one to I've, what? 30? Yeah. Are there 30 I've, boxes? Something like that. That's I've got all a strategy you need to know your numbers. Time. Yeah. I've got a strategy. I'm going to pick this one and then that one. And we're going to see what happens. Yeah, because there's no... You can't... Put, people try and explain why they're picking these boxes. Exactly. like, because this is my date of birth. And it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they're randomly selected. They don't give and a shit about your date of birth. <laughs> and you can see Noel Edmonds just looking at them like, yeah, all right, all right, just do it. <laughs> this is my thousandth episode now. Just get on with it. Yeah, like, oh, God, we could easily just go on there. I mean, we don't I need know. to know anything. Less. We don't need to revise. Oh, but we have to interact with people. Mm. That's the thing. That's true. And, uh, like, if, if the banker likes you, he'll offer you more money. I remember true. that you episode a... when um, he, uh, the guy, I can't remember his name, but he uh, he was really charismatic. So the banker's first offer was, like, nine grand. It's all bollocks. <laughs> like, I feel like there's not really a banker on the other side. It's just Noel Edmonds <laughs> fucking with him. <laughs> and then, like, when someone Don't has to come that. on with... Don't say that! I'll be like, oh, he doesn't like you. You do realize you deal with no audience are our audience as well, the people with no brains. Sorry? The deal or do, no deal audience are our audience as well. Oh, yeah. Even less so for me. I, it doesn't take much to entertain me. But then again, like, at least you know you've got a fair chance, you know. You, uh... Oh, God, no. What, what's worse than people actually playing these games is people watching it. It's so my dad gets really into it. And I'm just like, why yeah, are you, you so you into this? To, you ain't going to earn anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's just like, no, pick that box. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, yeah, she goes like, that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's that stupid. Why are you picking that box? I'm just like, oh, my God. And he picks it up and it's red. It's like, ooh, good thing I wasn't on that one, right? But then my dad's the type of person that would go on the show because he would be shit at, like, he wants to be a billionaire or the weakest link or anything. Yeah, has, ever, has it ever annoyed you where, in your mind, you thought, oh, I'd pick that one, and you've actually, oh, or, or millionaire or something, and you actually get them right, and you think, I was there, I would have earned <laughs> that money. I would have actually earned that money. Yeah, but you get one wrong answer, you're fucked. Oh, yeah, you're fucked, but you have a checkpoint system. At the very least, you know, I think the biggest scare I would ever have is not losing money, but just being one of those people that didn't make it past the first question. Or Are there people the that didn't make it past the yeah. first question? Oh, man, it's so bad. There's one person that lasted two minutes. And, and he actually knew what the answer was, but he was too eager and he answered the wrong question. Oh, it's so fun to watch. <laughs> It's like cringe. <laughs> that was that noise, Matt. <laughs> yeah, Matt, that was brilliant. Yeah. It was just... Oh. <laughs> Eager giggle. <laughs> oh, man. But Harry Potter, you know. Uh... Harry Potter. Oh, my God, they should have the weakest link or who wants to be in their themed Harry Potter episode. I might suggest that for the Harry Potter day. No. <laughs> what was that noise, Carmen? <laughs> <laughs> it was a gasp. <gasps> 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 I signed yes. up for that. I actually called three times before someone answered, and I signed up for that. Oh, nice. Because Lana like got them? me scared. I was just like, oh, I'll try again. Because I tried once, and I couldn't get through. I said, I'll try again tomorrow. If not, Chris can sign me up. And she's like, <laughs> oh, my God, they said there's limited spaces. You need to do it now. I'm just like, what if they don't answer the phone? Who said that? Who said that? Lana. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. well, if they don't answer the phone, how am I supposed to sign up? You do have to stay online for a while, because um, on the phone for a while, because they are quite busy. At the, at the oh no, I've signed up now, it's fine. Oh, nice, nice, cool, cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so. so I'll that see you dressed fun. as Hagrid. Yeah, I've already ordered the beard. I'm just trying to find a, a Mac. <laughs> you ordered the myself. beard? Yeah, Wait, they're yeah. not paying for your shit for you. No, no, it's, it's, uh, they said, oh, who could do this? And I, I said straight away, I'm Hagrid. <laughs> I'm just Hagrid, please. Um, that's my thing. I'm going to uh, go over and hug Hagrid, and then everyone's just going to be like, why is she hugging that stranger that's dressed as Hagrid? <laughs> I'll just, I'll, you, when you leave, be like, uh, it's I knew as well, so it's Not more... really. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really goodbye. Not really. And I'll just wave, like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> a fucking... Uh, see, I'm going to put a pillow under my coat as well, so it looks like I'm fat. I don't need to put the pillow under the coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got the greatest, like, chat up by now, like, as Hagrid. You know, do you want to come back to my hut with me or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to meet, meet Buckbeak? <laughs> to all those kids <laughs> at the Harry Potter day. Say hello to Norbert. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat it. a slug? I love signing up for that because they had to ask me, am I over the age of 12? And I was like, yes, I am. Oh, what, you? <laughs> um, I, I, yes, I'm over the age of 12. Oh. And he made, and I don't, 
Is that a question they ask everyone? Because I, I felt bad. So. I'm signing up for Harry Potter, and he's asking me if I'm over the age of 12. Should oh. I not be signing up to this? <laughs> I, the thing is, Lana's taking Lara My sister. On. I have nothing. <laughs> so I've said I, I, we'll pretend she's taking her to the adult uh, one Yeah, I know, afterwards. because we have work. Yeah, are you going to the, the adult one? Well, yeah, because I have work. Yeah, fantastic. So me and Lana are going to pretend that she's our um, adopted child and we're lesbian lovers. Oh, that's fine, yeah. She's going to be our Ben of the day. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> you could, um, uh, also, the houses are going to be... The shop's going to be divided into houses. Really? Do I have to dress up, though, because I'm coming from work? Yeah, you, well, if you want to... You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's going to be like a uh, costume competition. Oh, I don't care for competitions because I always lose. (laughs) It's not depressing at all. Anyway. I don't think the staff can enter, but if if they can, I'm going to see. I should take my wand, though. I'd have the most confusing wand. Take your wand, take your wand. I'll take the wand. I don't have time to buy it. A cape like Dumbledore's. I I don't have time to grow the beard either. There's a shop around the corner um, opposite. I don't have the money to do it either, Chris. Okay. okay. No problem. I would just wear that shit all the time. So would I if I had it. I used to have, yeah. like, the scarves and everything, but I grew out of it. And now my mum uses it when she's cold. <laughs> like, oh, that's my, that's my scarf. I got that hey, for free when I went to see the movie. I'm having a bit of trouble finding Hagrid's Mac because I need to get an oversized Mac, and it has to be just right, you know. It has to be a kind of brown colour. Mm. He, he doesn't wear a scarf, does he? No. I think he just wears a Mac. Jacket. Okay, I'll find something in a charity shop or something. I'm just going to take the wand with me and I'll whip it out and hurt children. (laughs) Because it it hurts. I smacked myself with it. I hit myself with it and it hurts. Because it's like a metal rod inside. This sounds a bit more like your Hello hello, Filthy Boy kind of (laughs) thing. Sweet Filthy Boy. Sweet Filthy Boy. Starring Dick Dyer. But then I didn't see the sweet at the beginning, so I'm looking up and I'm just searching Filthy Boy, just trying to figure Mm. out what it is. And then something else comes up, Sweet Filthy Boy, and it's like, oh, that's it. And then I read it and I'm like, that's the description? Why did I buy this? (laughs) (laughs) So after that, after talking about the Harry Potter books in general... Moving on to the final book. <laughs> um, so, so, which is also known Sweet Bluffy Boy. What was your favourite book in the series, guys? Oh, the first one. That's where the story or started. Or even just favourite story if you've seen the film. Ooh, it's a tough one, that is, actually. Well, I read the third one first, so that's kind of got a special, and that's kind of got, like, serious black in. Mm, yes, I, 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 like really character. Character. I love the first book because that's where the story started, and I love the last four books because it gets really interesting and mm. the world opens up, but it gets really depressing and people die, and I get really upset. Yeah. So I, I love the character Lupin. He's a great I loved character. Remus Lupin, and then I hated it at the end when him and Tonks. Um, ah, Tonks. Yeah, yeah. and then was, uh, little Teddy's just left by himself. That that woman that plays Tonks is also that girl that. It's yeah, in, she's uh, in um, Game, of Game of Thrones. Yeah. I also saw her in some yeah. sci-fi show as well. Yeah, Residue. I watched that on Netflix. The one where she's like a paranormal... A in- photographer. Like, it's not her, but it's a paranormal investigator thing? No, she's um, she's like a photographer and she's seeing ghosts or something of people. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I saw that on Netflix. It was awful. <laughs> anyway. Oh. I do think the seventh book is amazing, though. It is. I think it's, it's dramatic. Really good book. It's very dramatic. Get away from my daughter, you bitch! Who says that? Molly Weasley. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Oh, God, Fred and George. I need to watch it again. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Even though, even though it's, like, the only book that, for most of it, isn't set at Hogwarts, it's, I still think it's really good. I think yeah. it's because it needs to widen the scope, though. So yeah. the, the, the more books that came along, the more of the magical world we see. And the last book, it's like they've finished school and they entered yeah. the real world. Yeah. And the, everything they do has consequences. Abracadabra! I, do I just I, take I'm, a sip of water now, Chris, or something? Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'm really glad that, obviously, if anyone's listening, if you hadn't killed it before, it's a very spoiler episode, but I'm just really happy they didn't kill off any really beloved characters like Hagrid. They killed off so many beloved characters! Oh, no, no, I, I know, I know, but, like, Fred and George, Dobby, but... Uh, Tonks and Lupin, but I'm glad that Hagrid stayed alive out of all the characters. He's just the nicest one in the whole series. I love Hagrid. He's, he's such a lovely character. Hmm. But I sort of wish the others survived. Oh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm so relieved. But you have to make it dramatic, don't you? you I wanted to torture Bellatrix. Like, yeah, she's a fuck. I just, I wanted to do the Cruciatus curse on her and then Cadaver the shit yeah. out of her. You know, I saw with 
Bellatrix, I just saw Helen Bon Carter, and I just thought, this is just, it's, it's a great universe being invaded by Burton now, and it's, it's, she comes in, she's just doing her crazy shtick, and you're like, oh, fuck off, <laughs> you know, you have all these lovely characters, and then you come in like a crazy woman, mm. um, doing her Helen Bon Carter thing, I, 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 I just see her as Helen Bon Carter. That is true, she does seem to play the same person yeah. over and over again at this point. Yeah, it didn't take me out of it, but it did kind of make me think, yeah, here we are. It's just, but but it's I hadn't just really her. seen much of Helena, Helena Bonham Carter until she started Harry Potter. Oh, but I'd seen, like, Fight Club and stuff, but that's yeah. about it. And, like, uh, she's really good in Sweeney Todd. I love Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd was shit. Oh! oh. But then she, Sweeney Todd came out <laughs> the same year as her first movie. <laughs> Sweeney <laughs> Todd came out the same year as um, Pro, um, Order of the Phoenix. So oh, right, it was yeah. the same year. So she just kept the makeup on. I've got, I've got yeah. to say, some of the noises we're making today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jap- Japanese anim shock. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <gasps> if you ask my opinion, too many yes. of the gingers survived. <laughs> could have done without. <laughs> a few more of them could have gone. You know what? If they you killed know. Arthur Weasley oh. in the earlier books, maybe some of, some more of the characters have survived. Because she said she killed yeah. a few of those characters because she let Arthur Weasley survive. Do you know, Rowling, I, 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 think, I think I've told Tarman this before, but I heard this fact on the No Such Thing as a Fish podcast that um, she only regrets killing off one character. Dobby. That's Forti- no, Fortescue, the ice cream seller, because there was no reason for it. She just what, did Fortescue, it because she, the ice cream she, she could. She killed more of those and less of the characters we cared about. I'd Wait, like her who, more. Who's, who's the ice cream seller? She fucking killed Fortescue. Dobby, man. Who? Fortescue, he um he he sells the ice cream while Harry's in London. I can't. And if you remember, like the third book, where you know after he's blown up his aunt, not in a sexual <laughs> way, um, but <laughs> he goes to London and he stays in uh, that pub or something. Yeah. Yeah. And Fudge comes round, tells him off, but says you'll still be able to go back to Hogwarts. Yeah. And and he then he kind of does a bit of like he gets the books and then he kind of. He goes to the ice cream parlour every day. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Oh, right, that's but the only bit. Him. But the bitch killed Dobby, I forgot. And it was Bellatrix. Oh, he was a bit annoying with Dobby. Oh, no, but Dobby, the sweet little house elf, I love Dobby. I cried like a little girl a every time I went twat, to see that movie. Was. <laughs> I, I cried every time I was in the cinema watching that death scene. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> we, we have this guy at work. Who uh, said he'll come dressed as Dobby? And he said, "Oh, you can do that." He said, "That's oh, easy. You just bring a sock." <laughs> <laughs> He's very risky. And nothing else. <laughs> yeah, and you know what he means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those children! Those poor children. <laughs> Man, he Dobby got off so easily. Like, How did he get off easily? He died. I mean, when he got the sock in the book, you know. Yeah, oh, he but gave he'd been the serving the Malfoys for years up until that point. You've been giving me a deck in a box all these years, and I'll finally get a sock and a book, and I'm free. <laughs> I love Dobby, and I miss him every day. He's better off where he is. What, with Dumbledore? He's ugly yeah. as well. And they, su- they appear like Harry now, and Severus. Now. Star Wars holograms in the background just looking at Harry, you know, like, well done, Harry. You used the magic. Oh, God, yeah. I miss Dobby. I miss Harry Potter. I, I, did, I miss Dumbledore. I miss Dumbledore, but I have his wand. I miss Bella. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just really? I'm Team Jacob, dude. You know, when I watched, when I read um, The Order of Phoenix and Tonks came off, I really liked the name Nymphadora and I wanted to name my child Nymphadora, whether it was a boy or a girl. Yeah. I like the name Nymphadora. It was very yeah, long, name, but... If you... But you're going to... But you shorten it to Nymph. Nymph, yeah. Like, <laughs> your daughter is going to be called Nymph all her life. Like. <laughs> and it'll be funny. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I do like the idea of Hogwarts, though. It's like the coolest yeah. boarding school ever. I know. It's, but you think to yourself, it's such a wild place. And then you go to, like, one of the other places in the Wizarding World, and it's not as wild. Uh, because yeah. Hogwarts is wild on every level. There's chairs that move. There's stairs that move. And there's uh, like paintings that talk, but you go to like the Ministry of Magic, and it's like, look, we, we've got the, the the snuff dust that makes you explode into a place, but we ain't got any of that other shit because we got to get shit done. You know what? Um, we should have books set in the other schools as well, like Durnstrung and, and Bow Battens, because I we didn't, yeah, we saw some of the kids from those schools, but we didn't see the schools. 
What's the one with the French girls? Yeah, bow buttons. Bow buttons, yeah. I'd, I'd like to go there. So bow yeah, buttons yeah, and yeah. Yeah. Strong. <laughs> Both like to go there. I'd like to go to Germstrong. <laughs> anyway. But I wouldn't mind, like, one-off books set in those places, because I want to see what those schools are like. Stormstrong is a very dark school. I mean, I feel like it will be full of Death Eaters and people yeah. that weren't really into pure bloods. Yeah, I mean, they kind of. It is Durmstrung, well, that school yeah. that I'm talking about, thinking about, right? Sorry. The school that I'm thinking about is called Durmstrung, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, so it's Durmstrung. Durmstrung, yes. So that's in like Norway or Sweden and Bulgaria. Well, it teaches Bulgarians, I think, because Victor Crum was Bulgarian, I think. I'm pretty sure he was because Bulgaria won, didn't they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was Bulgarian in the Quidditch did, World did, Cup. Did they beat the Irish or something? Yeah. Pretty sure it was yeah. the Irish. Yeah, it was the Irish. Because Oliver Wood was there and he was supporting the Irish. Yeah. Because he's Irish. No, he's not. He's Scottish. Am I thinking someone else? Someone was supporting the Irish. Yeah. Probably Lumos. Shane. So, yeah. Did you just say Lumos? Yeah. Why? You want to turn the lights on? <laughs> no, I just... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was Seamus I, I, that was supporting him. You're right, it was Seamus. Yeah, because he, he has got a bit of an Irish name, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, Seamus Finnegan. I love Seamus. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like him when he went all sh- dickish. Well, did he go dickish? Yeah, when um, Harry... Oh, he was turned his yeah. back on him and everything. And... White twat, I wouldn't have forgiven him. But Harry's a white, bigger man than I, apparently. White twat. He's a right twat, oh. yeah. <laughs> Why? But you said white twat. White twat. I'm not racist, mate. <laughs> Anyone could be a twat, whether you're white, black or brown. I don't care. Uh, Anyone could be a twat. <laughs> <laughs> that is the moral of this That's episode. Really Anyone could be a twat. Yeah. Huh? That's where there really is diversity. And twats. What, the twatish world? <laughs> the twatish world. Oh, it's like a really yeah, shit Harry Potter. Yeah, there's lots of diversity. The we write that twatish world. Because <laughs> we live it. Harry twatter. Harry Twatter and the Twats of mm. Kingston. <laughs> anyway. Do you know what I think is a shame it's not should... real in real life? is the books in Harry Potter. Mm. Like, all those old books. What do you mean? Like, all those old wizarding ah. books. Yeah. I'd love it if they yeah, were Yeah, they should, they should come out with Grim Wars or something. Grim Wars you know, or yeah. something like that. You're trying to read a book in Harry Potter. It's just counterproductive because they start screaming at you and shit. And, it's like, and one of them has a fucking... Uh, one of them has teeth. It's like a fucking spider. Yeah, but you have to stroke it and open. Let's just make a fucking book, Wizarding World. Like, I just realise you stroke it and it opens and it's I nice to you. Buy, I could lose my head by buying school <laughs> supplies. I have to pay for it as well. Like, but that would be fun. Uh, like, if the book was screaming at you or biting at you, you wouldn't fall asleep a reading book it. That looks like a spider is a no-no for me. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't like spiders. I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't hate spiders. Not like some people, but like it's you know, if I can avoid one, it's fine. You know, like. I'm not going to read from a book, you know. I woke up in the middle of the night the other night, and there was a spider just climbing up my wall. But I was so tired, I'm just like, I can't be bothered to get rid of it. So mm. I hope it just sort of stays on that wall. I do that. And, just... doesn't, and doesn't go into my mouth while I'm sleeping, because I'll deal with it in the morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> I cannot be bothered to take that spider out now. Yeah. And yeah, it was still on the wall, so I was glad it didn't, you know, go into my mouth and plant eggs in my body. <laughs> but, Yeah. Would they survive in my body? I guess they would. I guess they would because it's warm. Are you creeping it's around warm you, temperature. Creeping around your guts, you know. Yeah, that nest. happens though to people, doesn't it? And then little spiders come out of your orifices. Yeah. I don't think they'd survive the acid. That would feel weird. That would either feel weird or like the best <laughs> massage. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. I even, I even wish I like, think the lessons should... are real as well. Yeah. Oh, so do I. I'm even going like to a patient's lesson, aren't I, Chris? Kind of history of magic. Even like history of magic. I basically wish all of it was real when I went to Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. That's a nice one as well. But you know that thing on Facebook? Have you seen it? If you're born between, like, 1990 to 1999 or something, yeah. It and you didn't get your letter, it's just because Voldemort was in power, so Muggleborns didn't get them. Nice. So so that's it. We are magical. It's just Voldemort stopped our letters from coming. Yeah. Oh, man, I always knew I had some gift. So do I. Every morning I woke up and think, Ac- Accio... Yeah, and we're just, like, forgotten now. Like, oh, I know I'm a magical, but I'm still working at this place. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I know what a rubber duck does, but... (laughs) I can't tell them, because they won't fucking send the letter. (laughs) Come on now, (laughs) you know. 
You know what I did want? I wanted like a replica of the egg from um, Goblet of Fire. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that egg looked really fucking cool. Yeah. I Re- wanted one. Reminds me of the eggs in Game of Thrones. They're cool. Oh, do you know what oh, I you wish- mean the dragon eggs? Yeah. I- do you know what I wish I was said, real? did you... <laughs> just like, like, you just talk at the same time. <laughs> you give each other enough time to just think the other one's being receding, and then you just bleh at the same time. Right, tell me your things about that feckin' dragon egg, so you go. <laughs> Do you mean the dragon eggs from Game of Thrones? <laughs> yes. Okay, Matt, you go. Do you know what I wish was real in Harry Potter? In particular, what? the feast, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah! Those feasts are epic. That happens. Just sitting that there. That happens at my house. Creme like, brulee regularly. after creme brulee, man. Yeah, but not, not <laughs> like in Harry Potter, though. Not a whole, um, like, table. Oh, no, no, no. Stuff. The food appears out of nowhere as soon as someone's plate is finished. That was a really More good More food scene. comes along. I don't think you know an Asian household, my friend. I think There's that food. just presents a couple of problems, though, because we still have a world of muggles that are suffering from world hunger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like these these wizards are just feasting yeah. themselves just food that they're never going to finish. That shit, man. Like, well, you know, they're just being cruel as hell. Or well, they don't have magic; they don't deserve the food. That is true. Like the wizards yeah, but, could sort out the world. Yeah, but who cares? Mm. Because most of those wizards are social <laughs> outcasts. It's because muggles are act so shit to them most of the time. <laughs> I think they Great deserve maybe. a bit of food now and then. If you ask me. Well, to be honest, I don't think muggles act shit to them because muggles don't know they exist. <laughs> yeah, but he, how was Harry treated? Yeah, but that's his family in particular, not muggles. Yeah. All the other mug, muggle-born wizards and witches, they seemed all right. Uh, Hermione's parents as well. Yeah, the dentist. Hermione's parents are so fucking normal. I know, Hermione's mum was... Um, wearing jeans. Catelyn Stark. They're wearing yeah. jeans. Hermione's uh, mum was Catelyn Stark. Yeah. Weren't they uh, uh, There's only Game of Thrones connections to the Harry Potter. And also, but um, then every British actor is in Harry Potter, so. I think that was the saddest moment for me. It wasn't a character dying, it was when she had to erase the memory of her parents. No, she had to obliviate. Obliviate that. that. I, know these, I know these fucking spells. Why do you not go to Harry Potter? Yeah, man. Like, you'd be a great student. The Guardian That, that sounds a bit dirty. Like, not Leviosa. Mm. Anyway, what? That could be like, sound really dirty. What? Oh, I obliviated her memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with my GHB. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've been trying to say, anyway, we should probably wrap this up for 15 fucking minutes. Anyway, I think we should probably wrap this up. Because there's not much more we could say, I guess. Actually, there's too much more we could say. This could go on for eons. But we have to finish sometime because I'm the one that has yeah. to fucking edit this shit. We, we don't need to mention Alan Rickman again, do we? Yeah, I was going to when we start uh, wrapping up. We have to bring it up, yeah. We have to. This, Alan Rickman's the reason we're doing this. We were going to leave this until November, until the next Harry Potter movie oh, came out. So and then, hard. Yeah, and then that happened, so we were just like, no, we'll bring it forward. So, yeah, this episode is dedicated to Alan Rickman, I guess. I mean, we didn't speak about Snape that much, but the best things are left unsaid, I guess. He was brilliant. I mean, Severus Snape, that is character development. Mm, It It was brilliant. It's better than any anime you'll ever see. Do you you know what... Character development. Do you know what I love about, like, the sixth movie in particular? Oh, I think the sixth book. Like, how Snape, he can still be, like... um, Because there's a bit where he's at Horace Slughorn's party and that kid, like, pukes on his shoes. So he can have... (laughs) he's He's that kind of, like... He can have that comedic moment, but then he can be, like, the darkest character. Like, when he, had, like, kills yeah. Dumbledore. I mean, that's yeah. what's amazing about Harry Potter. How yeah. it kind of goes from, like, being quite a, like, like light world to this dark yeah. and kind of quite... Oh, like, you know, be, like, a proper teacher as well. Yeah. But then Severus's most, heart- most heartbreaking moment, when Dumbledore's talking about Lily, and he's just, like, still. And it's like, always. And then that just broke my heart, and it uh. made me crumble a little bit. Yeah. He's still uh, always after all this time he loves Lily. Yeah. And Harry's got his mother's eyes as well. Harry's got his mother's eyes. Oh yeah. My, uh, after after all that time when Snape would just avoid talking to Harry and saying anything positive about him. In the last moment he had your mother's eyes and that was just it. I was gone. I think that's the moment I started bawling. Actually I start I probably started bawling the moment I sat down in the cinema to be honest. One of one of my friends named her two kittens, uh Lily and James. After the Aww. Harry Potter cat, cats, yeah. Oh, Ooh. God. Someone's got a text. And with yeah, that, you me. better wrap it up so you can do your <laughs> drug deal. I forgot to put it on Do Not Disturb. Oh, no, it's just emails. I've had, like, five of them during this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off work today. I'm on annual leave, but I'm getting all the emails. But, yeah, so we dedicate this to Alan Rickman because he is a marvellous, marvellous man. 
<laughs> and yes. Harry Potter is a marvellous, marvellous world. No jokes here. Yeah. I actually No jokes here. As well, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so we love Alan Rickman, we love Harry Potter, and we love you guys, and we're going to say goodbye. Okay. So goodbye. And with that yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you brought some Die Hard in there. That's brilliant. <laughs>